hello everyone welcome back so here i am going to explain about the problem related to the break even analysis so where we'll go for determining the break even point calculation of pv ratio and margin of safety from the following information calculate break even point pv ratio and margin of safety so with this information whatever they have provided you should go for calculating break even point profit volume ratio and margin of safety so let us see the information given so total sales 360000 selling price per unit 100 rupees variable cost per unit 50 rupees fixed cost is rupees 1 lakh so with this information you should go for calculating all these things so here he, they have asked just you to break even point they have not mentioned whether break even point in units or in sales volume so just they are giving calculate break even point so we'll go for calculating break even point both in units as well as in sales volume let us go for calculation now so the first thing is they have asked you to calculate break even point so here we will go for calculating break even point in units as well as sales value because they have not mentioned particularly so the formula for calculating break even point in units is fixed cost divided by contribution per unit in the problem they have given directly the fixed cost that is 1 lakh rupees but they have not provided the what is the contribution per unit so we have to calculate contribution per unit the formula for calculating contribution per unit is selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit so these two information they have provided in the problem that is selling price per unit is given and variable cost per unit is also given so now we will go for calculating the contribution per unit so selling price per unit is rupees 100 variable cost per unit is rupees 50 so now the contribution per unit is rupees 50 so we will represent it as this c c represents for contribution so now we got both fixed cost given in the problem and we got the contribution required for calculating the break even point in units so go for substituting the values in formula so break even point in units is fixed cost 1 lakh rupees divided by contribution per unit is 50 so you will get the value of so you will get the value of 2000 so because you are calculating break even point in units so it should be written as the 2000 units so now we have calculated the break even point in units now we will go for calculating the break even point in sales value so the formula for calculating break even point in sales value is break even point in sales value is equals to fixed cost divided by contribution per unit into selling price per unit means whatever the break even point in units we are calculating that should be multiplied with the selling price directly will get the value so the given fixed cost in the problem is 1 lakh rupees by contribution we have calculated is 50 rupees into selling price per unit given is the 100 rupees so 1 lakh divided by 50 you will get 2000 divided by 100 so you will get the rupees 2 lakhs because it is a sales value we have to go for mentioning in the amount so the break even point in sales value you will get the amount of rupees 2 lakhs so now both we have calculated break even point in units and break even point in sales value so the first calculation is completed and next next they are asking you to calculate the profit volume ratio that is pv ratio let us see how to calculate the profit volume ratio formula for calculating profit volume ratio or pv ratio is sales minus variable cost divided by sales into 100 so the volume is the profit volume ratio is here the formula so sales we know directly they have given 360000 but variable cost in the problem they have given variable cost per unit but here we require the what is the total variable cost so how to calculate the total variable cost number of units into variable cost per unit you will get the total variable cost but in the problem they have not given the what is the total number of units so first we should go for calculating what is the total number of units then you should go for multiplying it with that variable cost per unit then you will get the total variable cost so first we will go for calculating the total number of units so how we will go for calculating the number of units 
so number of units is equals to sales divided by selling price so total sales value divided by selling price per unit you will get the number of units so total sales value is 360000 divided by selling price is 100 so now you will get the units so number of units that is 3000 600 units so you got the number of units so now total variable cost so now these 3600 units into variable cost per unit is 50 rupees so you'll get the value of total variable cost that is 180000 rupees so now we got the total variable cost which is required to calculate pv ratio so substitute this value here so pv ratio is equals to sales value is 360000 minus variable cost is 180000 which is we are calculated divided by again sales 360000 into 100 so now 360000 minus 180000 you'll get 180000 divided by 360000 into 100 so you'll get 0 0.5 into 100 so that is 50 percent so the PV ratio is 50 percent so now we calculated PV ratio so means whenever the variable cost the total cost of variable cost has not given so go for finding out the total number of units and multiply that total number of units with the variable cost per unit you will get the total variable cost so next they are asking you to calculate the margin of safety so the formula for calculating margin of safety that is the third calculation they are asking is margin of safety so the formula is actual sales minus break even sales actual sales means the sales value which is given in the problem and break even sales means the break even sales value which we have calculated so actual sales given in the problem is sales value is 3 lakh 60 thousand minus break even sales value that is BEP in terms of sales value we have calculated is 2000 so the remaining will be your M margin of safety that is MOS so this is how we will go for calculating the margin of safety so we have calculated the all the required things so this is how we will go for calculating break even point profit volume ratio and margin of safety